Hello there, and welcome back to another episode of Flea Market Finds, where I go to the market, find some crap, bring it home, and show you all. Also, it's about 10 hours after I've been to the market, so I've sort of been waiting all day to get all this stuff out and show you guys. It's just, yeah, taking me a while to finally set up. So let's, let's start. Let's not ramble. Let's start. You heard a plastic bag. Plastic bag. Woo. What's on the side of it? Adair's Outlet. Fantastic. Okay, so this is just stuff that I sort of picked up at the end. I'm going to try to remember everything that I got, so yeah. I'm going to put this to one side. So the first thing I have, this this isn't surprising at all. It's not shoes. <laughs> um, this is Brian's Toyota Supra from the Fast and the Furious, the original film. It's a remote control car, so it's just a generic sort of base with, you know, wheels and the body kit and the official Fast and Furious branding and all that sort of stuff on it. But I've actually featured, a, I think, two Fast and Furious things on flea market finds. And, well, I found this today and thought, it's one of my favorite films. I'm not gonna, I'm, no. I seen it when I first walked through the market and then I thought, now nah, I'll leave it. And then I came back to it and went, now nah, I'll grab it. But it was only $2, which I can't complain about. It's a good little piece. I mean, it's not the most detailed thing in the world, uh, but it's it's pretty cool for what it is. It's a little bit scratched up and everything, but you can tell it's Brian Supra. Just look at it. Easy. So, yeah, two bucks. Moving on. Oh, no, this is definitely... Nah, it's not a surprise at all. Shoes. And as a bonus... It came with the other shoe. <sighs> Plot twist. Um, <laughs> these are Supra Skytop uh, threes. The way I um, figured that out was when I seen them, I went, they're similar to the Skytop fives that I have, but they're not quite there yet. They've got this little pull tab on the back here. They've got the little plasticky stuff here, and the sole is sort of, uh, it's a little dirty, and it's, but it's sort of looking like the, um, the, the Skytop 5. And judging by the three just there, I figured they're Skytop 3s. And I would, I think I'm correct on that. But when I, when I seen these at the market, okay, so what I did at the market today was it's several rows. So just imagine like a whole bunch of, oh, I should do a diagram or something, but I went up and down the aisles once, then I done it again. Then I done it again. Then I done it again. So it was on the fourth time, back to the start, that I came across these. And it was a guy at the last aisle just had these on the table, like that sort of thing, on a lower table, not the main table, the lower table. I seen these and I just thought, the color looks good. Soles can be cleaned up. Uppers are pretty nice, bit of creasing and stuff. They look fairly good, and I sort of felt around, and I'm like, yeah, they feel fairly comfortable. The only problem is I couldn't find, if you can see, I can't find any tags on here. And I just, I said to the guy, oh, I'm guessing they're size 11, because I know my shoes, I'm sort of used to knowing the sizes now. And I bought them, he only wanted 10 bucks for these, I was happy to give him 10 bucks for them, not a problem at all, because they can be cleaned up. And then, while I was putting them into my backpack, I decided to push right down on the tongue and ta-da, there it is there. The tags that you can't even see it. I don't know why it's so far down. Where's, hang on. What the fuck? Oh, is that Velcro? Why is it Velcro? There's Velcro. <laughs> There's a hidden pocket in here. Uh, this is the second pair of shoes I have that have a hidden pocket for contraband, contraband, contraband. Yeah, so that's that's a bit unexpected, but there is a tag there. I'm, I'm sorry I'm hitting the tripod. It's so hard to see, but yeah, they are size 11s. Actually, if you follow my Instagram, you'll see I posted a picture of a pair of uh, Nike Dunk SB mids. I can't remember the uh, full... Uh, name of them, but they're mid cuts of the Nike SB Dunks. Um, usually I've come across highs and lows, but not mids. And these appear to be mids, not high tops. So I've ranted on a lot about these, but 
they were 10 bucks and I thought, yeah, why not? I'll grab them, I don't care. All right, next item. From the same guy, we have this, well, these, completely trashed Adidas, I'm not too sure actually. We shall see what the tag says and look them up. But I was walking away from the same guy that I got the Supers off and there was just, these were tucked away underneath the lower table that was uh, to the right of the, oh, this is so confusing. So there was the little left table, then his main table, then there's a little, another table next to it. The Supers were here, these were at the bottom of that small little table. And I seen these at the last moment and I thought, eh, I may as well. So I said, how much do you want for them? Ah, give me five bucks. Five bucks, I'll do that. Um, cause I can clean them up. Anyways, um, so the shoes have the tray foil at the back here. You see it curling around the shoe there. Um, the tongue's actually one of those sort of flat tongues there. It's not, see, I don't like when they go like that. I'd rather the tongue like that. It makes the shoe stand out and it looks like a low top shoe. And then you sort of get around to the back and it's not. Um, bottom is pretty good. There is a little bit of heel drag and some, you know, dust and dirt and grime and stuff, but it's not terribly bad. The laces are actually fairly good as well. Um, the insole is, it's there, but it's not there. Uh, these are glued down, I think. Yeah, they, they're glued down, unfortunately. The tag here says they are US 11, which is my size, hooray. Uh, they were made either in, oh no, no, no. They were made on the 8th of 2013. So they are almost five years old. So that's not too bad. Okay, so I'm looking online for these and I can't seem to find, well, just quickly, a reference of these. They all seem to have stripes here and the trifold goes around here. But I'm, I'm confused. I don't see a pair of them on here. Oh, wait, hang on. They're definitely EVH shoes, which I'm not too sure what that stands for. Evolution Hardcourt, maybe? Ooh, maybe that's it. You know what? After filming this video, I'll just look it up. I'm just going to look these shoes up and just... <sighs> I'll work it out. Because I have no idea. There's EVHs of some sort. That's all I can tell on the tongue here. But apart from that, nothing else. So, yeah. Five bucks for these. Pretty happy with them. And I'll clean them up. It'll make an interesting project, I think. And today I went and seen my friend John, who's out to the market every week, and he always sells me phones and stuff. He didn't have much this week. Uh, he actually did have something else, but um, there was a slight incident at the market. Um, if anyone wants to know what that slight incident was, um, feel free to ask, and I shall tell you. Uh, but otherwise, that's no clickbaity stuff there, honestly. It's just some people out of the market. Just, let's just say that. Anyways, um, I got an Xperia M. I believe it's called an Xperia M. I'm not going to take the battery cover off. Actually, yes, I am going to take the battery cover off. Because I had a look at it while I had the opportunity. And inside of here, we have a 16 gigabyte SanDisk micro SD card. Now, you know, they're not worth a lot. But hey, a 16 gig card for free is still pretty cool. Because I could bundle that with something. But, um... Uh, yeah, this is definitely an Xperia M with the NFC. I believe it's NFC on the back here. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, fairly good condition, just needs a clean up. Um, and then I should be able to sell this and move it on. Very neon yellow color, neon green and yellow. It's just, the camera's not really picking it up because it doesn't want to autofocus on it. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a very strange color. So that was that. And then I have this one here, which I believe is a Galaxy Express. This has a four gig card in it, I believe. And there is a four gigabyte card in there, which is always useful. As I said, just bundle them with something. Uh, neither to turn on because I haven't charged them or tested them or anything like that. I've just left them. So I will test them and let you know if they work. The next thing I got was a Lenovo, an official, genuine Lenovo laptop charger. There is a reason why I bought this. A very, very, very good reason I bought this. So as I said, I was going up and down the market sort of thing, and four times. So I went once, twice, three, four. 
and it was on my fourth time back, I went back to, well, I was pretty much finished. He was holding these for me, and I said, I needed a Lenovo charger. And he goes, yeah, I got one here. We're going to try this in a second. Hopefully it works. But I got this and the two phones for 20 bucks. So I will keep this to the side because of what I will show you next. So move the phones out of the way. Actually, I should chuck them on charge. Moving on to the backpack. Oh, I just knocked my light box out of the way. That's not a problem. Alrighty, let's start. We have some plastic bags. Uh, I'll pull out, you know, this pair can wait. The theme of this one is shoes. Obviously, the whole point of Market Finds is to find shoes and other miscellaneous crap, but yeah. Shoes. These are Nike Zoom Pegasus 32s, and they are, like, really out there. Bottom looks pretty good, actually. This, uh, the same guy I got these off was the same guy who sold me uh, the air stabs. I got the air stabs from him and I went back to him and he swapped them over. So, yeah, um, that's a weird insole. Golf Athletics. That's a very tiny insole. Foot Joy. I'm pretty sure that's not the original insole, considering, ah, uh, yeah, not the original one. See? So I'm going to have to find some insoles for, that's fun. I might be able to get some on DHCAD, actually. Is the other one like that? Yeah, it is. I didn't even see that. Ah, oh, well. Zoom Pegasus 32. When were they made? 2015. So only three years old. But they've got this, like, zebra textured print on them. Very nice looking, actually. They're kind of like a, um, the Ultra Boost. They kind of go, whoop. Yeah, I'll have to try them on. If I need to replace it, I mean, it's... Yeah, it's moving around in there. But if I have to replace it, I'll replace it just to try them on. But they're size 11, so they should, they'll should they fit me. It's just a matter of the insole. Unless I use a donor uh, pair of shoes. Do I have a pair of size 11 shoes that I can pinch the insole out of? Uh, that would probably be a no. Unless I took them out of those Jordan 11 Space Jams. And just sort of, yeah, use them. I don't know. But these were 20 bucks. I tried to ask for a bit of a discount because uh, I got another pair of shoes, which you're about to see. And he said, no, they're very cheap as they are. And I agree. They are very cheap as they are. So these, these next ones, I just don't know where to begin. Ta-da. These are some sort of Nike basketball shoes. These have Hyperfuse written on them. They are a metallic silver and blue. The sole is not that bad a few little stones here and there not too bad we have LA on the back here textured into there which looks quite nice and it's very nice material like it's it's netted here and then it's like a very hard plastic here different colors red blue silver white the only thing is they don't come with shoelaces but I have a stash of shoelaces, and if I need to pinch some shoelaces from another pair of shoes, then I will. You can see in there it says PWR Grid Plus, so they must be the insoles. Oh my god, they are quite tough. Ah, oh, uh, Saucony? Saucony? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm pretty sure these are the originals, but the tag, US 12, made in 2000 and, well... It's either 2010 or 2011, I'm not too sure. I usually go by the right one, so I'll say 2011, so seven years old. They don't look like they've been worn. It says 112,605 in here, so I don't know if that's a serial number, if these are limited or something. I'm gonna check them up now and have a look, but I'll just slot this back in here. So these are Nike Hyperfuse All-Star Lows. I seen them and I thought, they're just, they're too good to just say no to, so I thought, stuff it, I'll grab them. Once again, there were 20 bucks, as I said. I tried to get a bargain with these and the Pegasus shoes. Uh, let's try. I said 35, but he's like, no, nah, they're too cheap. So it was 40 for both, so 20 each. Regardless, I'll put some laces in them and uh, see how they go. I will have to do some more investigating, because look, it says it's got a trial pattern on the back there as well. It's out of my league. No pun intended. All right, moving on. Okay, so now we're down to the last two items there is one more here and there's another one hidden away in the backpack here is a laptop get out of the way bag so remember that lenovo charger we had 
we're gonna need that. So on my third walk around the market today, there's a guy just, just casually just putting out laptops, just chucking them out on the table. And I seen this one and I went, this is modern. This is modern, I know it is, because of this, the sleek style of it, uh, apart from the scratches and all that stuff, that's okay. And I opened it, and it's an i5. So I thought, hey, yeah, okay. It probably is either a second gen i5 or a third gen i5. So it's either a two something, 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 or a three something, something, something. But we will charge it and see. It's in okay condition, sort of, if you can see it there. Screen's pretty good, everything looks pretty good. The bottom doesn't look like it's been messed with, so there could be a hard drive. There could be some extra stuff in here. I don't really know. The guy was trying to sell me other ones that were from like 2001, and I said no, I just this one. But I paid a whole $20 for this. So, I mean, it's missing the Lenovo logo and it's got scratches on it and stuff, but hey, it could be a good little laptop to set up for, you know, doing phone repairs or something like that on. Who knows? So I'm going to plug the charger in and we're going to see if this thing works. There's lights. You see that light there? It's flashing. It's flashing. It's doing something. Uh, all right. Thank this up. All right. Let's see what this does. On. Oh, it's a bit water damaged. Yeah. It's a... That's a little bit stuffed. <laughs> It works, presumably. It's just, just, just a little bit water damaged. Um, I don't know if I can sell that now without having to replace components and all that sort of stuff, which I don't really want to do. Okay, this thing is taking absolutely forever to start up. So there's definitely not an SSD. You can hear something rattling around inside of it. I don't know if you guys can hear it. You can probably hear my loud computer over everything. Okay, I've waited long enough. It's it's just not going to boot. So it probably needs a reinstall, which is something I can do. Anyways, we're going to go into the BIOS and see what's cracking around in here. Got it. Okay, it's an i5-2520M. There is 8 gig of RAM installed in this thing. Shit. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. Uh, so it appears ST9320... 423, I think it's, okay, so it looks pretty much going to be a 320 gigabyte hard drive, which is, eh, average. It's funny how it's got all these other boot options, you know, hard drive 2, hard drive 0, hard drive 4, hard drive 5, how many hard drives can you look, hook up to this thing? And it's got eSATA, plus USB. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to open it up, and we're going to see what's inside of it. Now, Lenovo is pretty good with their ports. I've always known that, for a fact. So, under here... Should either be an option to install an MSATA SSD, which I think we should be able to. I don't think it's ever been opened. I, see, I thought the guy may have opened this, you know, because he's sitting there trying to sell me a 2001 laptop, th maybe thinking I'm stupid. I saw that old Dell from one of the market finds ages ago that I've still got. I haven't done anything with it. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. Now, that's pretty cool. So, what you can do... Essentially, is I can just switch out the processor, do a BIOS update, put an i5 30 something whatever in here, and be good to go. That's fairly good. Um, let's have a look at this drive here. It's yeah, it's a th it's a 320 gig, but it's a 7200 RPM drive, so that's supposed to be a little bit faster. But I think I've got a spare SSD laying around, or just put a normal drive into it. You know. Whatever, it doesn't really bother me. But I do need a laptop that I can just sort of stuff around with um, for mobile phone repairs that has a lot of USB ports. This has like, um, well, that, that's a USB port there. That's a USB port on the back over there. And I think there's two on this side too. Yes, so it's a fairly good candidate. But I've talked about this laptop long enough, so I'm going to put the casing back on and we're going to move on to the last item. And the absolute last item here. The very last item, or shall I say items, the most ugliest <laughs> representation of figures. I think it was made on purpose, though. These little guys. If you don't know who these are, 
uh, you probably were not around in the 90s. This is Beavis and Butthead. I should have them this way. There we go. Beavis and Butthead. These figures are from 1993, which I'm 25 years old. So that's when they're from. It's just there, but it's going to be very hard to focus just near his butt there. I seen these in a collector's cabinet. He had a whole bunch of like collectible stuff and I seen them and I thought, oh, you know, I haven't seen figures of these in quite a while. He said 25 bucks and I, uh, for just two little figures, I mean, they're, they're tiny. They're, they're really small. Like, here's a size 12 shoe and here they are there. <laughs> they're, they're small. However, they are collectible. So he said, fine, just give me 20 bucks. And I went, yeah, that's, that's fine with me. So I paid $20 for these two little figures because I can display them somewhere and remind me of my childhood when I used to turn on the TV, go to MTV, and this would be on. And I'd just sit there and laugh my head off at what these two idiots got up to. It was amazing. Ah. <sighs> My childhood was cool. It's just the most ugliest representation of ugly characters. So I think it's quite fitting. So let's do a tally count. So we have the two Beavis and Butthead figures, the Hyperfuse shoes, sorry, Butthead, Pegasus shoes, Adidas EVH shoes, Supras, and I just realized that I've also got another Supra. Ironic. And the Lenovo laptop, it's just all gonna fall down. I forgot to mention the phones as well. So I paid a total of this much here. So I was going to do an on-foot section um, for these shoes, but they're not really that terribly interesting. I mean, this, these ones are. Otherwise, I do have a little bit of announcement. I have ordered some more stuff off DHK. So I'm going to be doing two new reviews. I don't know when they'll be here, but I'll be doing two new reviews from DHK. Um, while they're not requested, they were a just... A last minute thought and I thought I'll just grab them I'll just grab them so we're waiting on them so if you are a returning subscriber from when the channel got shut down and you still haven't seen the what the fuck happened video my shoes are falling over which I haven't put out yet um, I will try and put that out so then you can see what's going on and all that sort of stuff that's all for me today uh, thanks for watching um, had a blast having a look at all this sort of stuff and yeah it's something for me to play around with thank you again and I will see you in the next video, whatever that may be. It's probably shoes, but who knows. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, feel free to leave a like or a dislike if you didn't. Comment below if you would like to see more content like this. We'll see you in the next one.